Hey guys, and um, welcome to today's reading. It's going to be a crime hour. We're going to see what wants to come out, um, what spirit wants us to know. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I was just sitting here and thinking for a second. Um, I'm not sure why it popped in my head, probably because of the last couple readings. Um, you know, it's been a lot, it's been pretty heavy, okay? But I was just thinking about, you know, how many um, stars, I mean, everybody's heard of the 27 Club, I think at this point, you know, where young stars with so much potential pass away at a very young age because of drugs, right? Now, some of them might have gone on their own accord, okay? But there are probably a lot of um, unfortunate lives that were taken on purpose and under the guise of, oh, they just overdosed on something, right? So that's something that we see in the industry as well. Um, if you go a little bit into the occult studies, behind the 27 club you'll find out that there are things like you know sacrifices um that are made because some stars are just worth more um dead than they are alive so there's always been conspiracies surrounding um certain deaths and um it has a lot to do with stars um or just young young adults, young people that have a lot of potential um, and they just get off the wrong path and then all of a sudden they, you know, they end up dead and nobody really knows why. So I don't really know why that's um, weighing heavy on me tonight. I feel like um, It's just an easy, it's just an easy excuse to kill someone, right? Um, there could even be someone here um, in your energy collective, somebody that maybe does um, know a little bit about the occult and um, making a sacrifice, um, making deals with the devil for money, glory. Among other things, I don't know why that's that's just with me tonight. And I felt called to speak on it for some reason here. So I don't know, you know, it could have something to do with your Saturn return. You don't have to be 27, but you have a Saturn return at the end of your 50s as well. Somebody um, use the time of your life here maybe to make a certain deal here or to use you as some sort of a sacrifice. And... Um, Somebody definitely wanted to make someone's death look like an accident. Or not even an accident. They wanted to make it look like someone did it to themselves or somebody deserved to die. That's kind of weighing heavy on me tonight. And I and that's what I'm going to get into, I think, with my crime hour here is... Um, well, I'm just leaving it open to spirit, but that's just the... That's just the initial energy that I'm tapping into here, so... Let's see here, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, our guides on the other side, the spirits that guide us here on our healing path and journey. What is it that you need the collective to know tonight about these crimes that are committed here against those in the collective? What is it that we need to expose? What crimes do we need to expose here tonight? Let's see. Two of Cups, okay, could have something to do with a relationship or someone that's close to you here. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny that this comes out. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands in reverse first. This could be some sort of an impulsive action that someone took here. You do have the Knight of Pentacles. This could even be two different people here. You got a fire sign and an earth sign here. Interesting fire sign and an earth sign because your last card out is the ace of cups an offer so there could have been two people here 
in the past that made you an offer? That is so curious and strange that the, that these three cards come out after I get done talking about um, someone trying to use substances um, <laughs> to cover up someone's death, okay? Or cover up a murder. See, why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse? Holy Angels. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse? You have Temperance, you have the Four of Cups in reverse, and you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So with these two cards, definitely telling me that someone here is hot-headed someone here um thinks i mean they act before they think this person might be very reckless um they they're very impulsive they act on emotion very fast energy here somebody might have done something without thinking about the consequences or this could be an air sign that has also fire in their chart or vice versa. Something, something was balanced out though when you rejected some sort of an offer. Huh, okay. Let's see, what's the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands comes out in reverse again. <laughs> the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there was something here that backfired or something that was blocked. Um, you blocked some sort of an idea that someone had, okay? Or someone tried to come towards you um, and make you some sort of an offer here. Like if this is two different people, cause you have the Knight of Wands in reverse right here. It could even have been something like first this person tried to make you an offer, you rejected it. So then the next person rolled in and then they tried to make you an offer, right? So it's like, like um, I'm seeing like a um, conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, please. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Justice, and the Six of Cups. So Justice could be a Libra here that's involved. Um, somebody made you an offer in the past. Now, if we're talking about someone trying to um, drug someone here or get rid of someone here using substances, this might have been maybe even something in a drink, okay? Or food or an offer of some sort. Somebody might have wanted to gift you something or give you something that was maybe laced with something, okay? They could have done this in the past here. It could have been a queen of swords in the reverse here. Maybe that's this knight of swords in reverse. I don't know. Someone here is definitely, um, someone is very mean, okay? very critical, has a lot to say, um, very cold-hearted person, could have narcissistic tendencies. This person is even, you know, they're hot-tempered. They're very, um, they're just impulsive and reckless. They have a lot of anger and spite in them. This, this kind of person that likes taking revenge, okay? They enjoy taking revenge on someone or on you. Now, the revenge might not even have to be warranted, okay? Somebody that is in the Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords in reverse, the revenge that this person wants to take on someone, it doesn't mean that you deserved or did anything wrong. This person just likes acting on negative emotions, okay? They just, 
is the kind of person that gets triggered by something small and they want to go off on you. They have absolutely no um, control over their mouth or their actions. They don't, okay? They don't have any control over themselves, so... Let's see. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands in reverse, please. It, a King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So heavy on the air sign here. This could be an air sign. This person might have felt like they were being abandoned or left behind or um, they were in some sort of lack. Um, they felt like they were in poverty. So they might have done something here, very hot-headed and impulsive. I don't even feel like it was impulsive. With the Knight of Swords in reverse and the um, Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel like something was very calculated. Someone here did something very calculated. They're just the kind of person that doesn't have any control over their um, anger. This person acts on anger. When they feel angry, they want to have an outlet, okay? And usually I feel like that's through actions or through words. Um, yeah. You see that? Yeah, this person in their anger, in their wrath, um, wanted complete destruction for someone else, okay? It's like, this is the kind of person where if you if you could be a complete stranger, right? And you walk past this person and you accidentally step on their shoe, they will like rip your fucking head off, okay? It's the kind of person that will like, you stepped on my fucking shoe, you dumbass bitch. Like that's this person, okay? Like they have no um, emotional regulator. But worse than that, I mean, it's not just like that they'll go off on you with words. This is the kind of person that if you step on their shoe and make their shoe dirty, they will purposely take their drink, their Starbucks drink, and like pour it all over your shoes just to feel better about what happened, right? It's like they need, this is the kind of person that wants to, if they feel like they've been hurt, they want to hurt someone back, but like even worse, okay? So this is the feelings that this person acted on. It's like they didn't even take a second to think about if something is worth their time or if, you know, if th what they're doing is right or, you know, if they need to calm down. No, they were just like, oh, just watch. Like, that's this person, okay? So why is temperance here? Judgment. Now... It seems that something is being balanced out here because of judgment. Devil. Something that was very toxic or someone that was being very toxic here. There's some sort of a angelic force that's coming in that's like counteracting this devil energy which is the Queen of Wands, okay? So this Knight of Wands reverse here, I'm assuming is this Queen of Wands. This person acts out of their shadow side when they don't get what they want, when they feel like they've been hurt, when they feel like they have the right to destroy someone's life because this is somebody that just acts out of their shadow side. There's no because. There's no reasoning. I don't think that you can logically understand a person like this. It's just like they got triggers, okay? And if you trigger it, they'll go off on you. They don't think about what they're doing before they do it. They just do it. That's what this is. Knight of Swords reverse and Knight of Wands reverse. This person doesn't think before they act. They just act. They act on a trigger. Like I said, you step on their shoe, they're like... You said on my fucking shoe? You said on my shoe? Oh, just watch this. And then they pour the whole Starbucks thing out. They don't think about the fact that you could now maybe, you know, what you did was just an accident. And what you could do now is like sue them for attacking you, right? They don't think that far. All they think about in that moment is that they want revenge on you, okay? They, they don't think about something that it was an accident or you didn't mean to or that you apologize. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's like... 
That's this person's energy. It's like you accidentally bump them in the grocery store, okay? And um, you didn't even mean to, the aisle was full and they will like shove your cart all the way on the other side and like scream at you like, didn't you see I was there? Like they don't have, there's no button in the brain that's telling, there's like, okay? You know how some people have like a filter there? They, this person doesn't. So this queen of wands here in their shadow side energy. Now, why is judgment and temperance here for this person? Because they were acting out of a hurt place or why is that here? No, it was because of what they planned here. And the two of swords is just giving me literally that energy that I just described of somebody just not even having any real mental clarity about what they're doing or why they're doing it. This is the kind of person they won't even know why they're attacking you. It's just, be it's because they're acting on emotion. They will not be able to logically explain to you why they're doing what they're doing. There's no logic, logical reasoning. It's literally emotion and anger and just a trigger. They got triggered, okay? And they're never gonna heal this trigger. This kind of person that doesn't heal a trigger. I don't, I mean, it'll take like years of therapy if I'm being honest, but so they plan something here out of this. It's like giving me like out of a hurt place, but it's not, well, I don't know if it's a hurt place. It's just like a trigger in their mind. Like, you know, the three of the swords is the mind. So this was something triggered their, like their mental state. I don't know. Chariot. It was the fact that someone was moving on or that somebody was moving forward. High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. So it has something to do with... Um, It's almost giving me like an abandonment wound, okay? With the Ten of Cups and the Chariot, it's like this person has a, an abandonment wound. Um, this person could be very forceful in relationships. Like, um, it's like they need, especially with the Ten of Cups, it's like they need someone to give them they're trying to force a family. They're trying, this is the kind of person that like will force the happy family, even if it's not a happy family. It's like, they just have a really strong abandonment wound, okay? Page of swords. This person mentally is still at a page. They're not, they're, they're mental. They're um, like, it's, it's probably emotional as well, but there's something about their mental development. The way that they communicate, there's something a little immature about their energy, okay? Because they're, the page is coming out in the upright, but the night, which is them being older, is like, this could, This is like young adult, teenager, young adult energy, young younger energy. This is then like 20s, 30s, you know, a little bit older energy. So... I don't know if something might have happened in this person's younger life that made them cold and bitter. It made them cold. It made them cold to the world. But that's not, I mean, that's not an excuse, okay? It's just an observation. It's, there's, there's like a link missing between um, like maybe their early 20s to where they are today, okay, or their, their younger years where they didn't develop mentally the way that they should have, okay, and now maybe they're too old and their brain is fully developed and there's like something that didn't, they didn't process something the way they should have, okay, and it, they're like in the, living out of their shadow side. So 
so but why is temperance coming in for this yeah ten of swords yeah i feel like honestly this person on the inside this is what they feel they feel hurt they feel in pain they feel um betrayed and abandoned and alone this is somebody that feels very alone this is probably someone who's never dealt with those feelings right they have never processed certain traumas in their life and then when those get triggered by experiences in their life they take it out on others instead of looking at the trauma and the pain they don't want to look at it something that they went through and I feel like with the Page of Swords, something they went through in their 20s, early 30s or something like that was so, something was so painful to them that they don't want to look at it and heal through it. So they take it out on everybody else, okay? But why is judgment coming in and temperance for this? Why? I mean, because of a, again, with the younger energy. And that's the same thing. Look, look, it's the same thing the other way around. Air sign, fire sign. But this, the page in their 20s, this person in their young, younger years, in the 20s, younger adult years, they might have been in the upright when they were innocent, okay? Something happened to this person at some point in their life and it made them go dark side, okay? Now, I feel like it must have been somewhere between their earlier years and them uh, end of 20s, 30s, something like that, okay? Where it made them grow very bitter and, and hateful and um, angry, angry at the world, angry about this, feeling abandoned, feeling um, alone, okay? It's something that they never healed from. So this could be a situation if, it, if it's coming in like this where someone moved on. This person could be very sensitive when people leave their life because of something that happened in the past to them, okay? Some sort of a loss that they went through in the past that they never healed from. So when people leave their life, they get very, very triggered because it, it, um, it opens up some sort of an abandonment wound or a wound of feeling alone. Yeah, that's what's going on here, High Priestess. That's that's why this person acts the way that they act. It's because they got triggered. See, I feel like the fact that somebody left them or moved on from them or broke up with them that's not really what is driving the anger and the bitterness and the hate and the wrath and the revenge. It's this, they're like angry at the world. They're angry at everyone. They're angry at the fact that they're alone. That's what it is. It's like they're blaming everyone for the fact that they're alone instead of accepting that that's sometimes how life is that's what people go through in life it's even though it's very painful it is sometimes natural it's something that people go through you know you can't force people to stay you can't um you know it could even have something to do with a death maybe somebody lost someone that was very close to them okay or somebody that meant a lot to them and it was so painful to them that they never looked at this and it made them grow very cold and made them, you know, latch on to people to feel safe and feel like, no, they're never going to be alone or something like that, you know? So when somebody left them, it like triggered this past experience in them, okay? So I feel like someone is just angry at the world because they don't what I think I'm trying to get at is this is someone that has a really hard time accepting loss and dealing with loss. And instead of dealing with loss and looking at it and accepting 
it, even though it's really hard and it hurts, um, they want to like take it out on others. See, you know, if you're the victim of this person, maybe in the past, you know, when they, when they dealt with some sort of a loss, you know, nobody was responsible for that, but they harbor all that anger and all that hurt and all that loneliness from maybe a death, okay? But they couldn't make anyone responsible for it because that's just a natural part of life. Now, somebody could have left them and moved on from them, and this time around, they felt like they had someone to blame, right? So all of that trauma is now being directed at a person, at a single person that they feel like is responsible now for the pain that they're going through and the loss. Because it's easier for them to escape the healing and confronting this abandonment wound um, by blaming someone else than it is for them to sit down and you know, deal with maybe being alone. For some people, that's really hard, okay? To um, think about having to be alone and go through life alone. And I feel like that's something that you have to learn, okay? Um, that is something that you grow into. That is something that comes through acceptance, especially if you're somebody that, um, you know, let's just take an example, somebody who might have always felt like, a family would complete them or if they have a family then they'll never be alone again um if you don't ever have that or if you don't have a happy relationship or a family then you know you might feel like you're unfulfilled or you're alone it's like one of the most important lessons of life i think is getting to the acceptance and um that feeling of, you know, even if I'm alone and even if I don't ever have a family and even if I, you know, go, th go through everything by myself, um, you know, life can still be fulfilling and it's okay being alone. It's not something that, you know, every, of course, you know, nobody wants to be alone, but loss is a part of life that you have to deal with. Okay. And everybody goes through loss and it's just natural nothing is forever right absolutely nothing is forever you know we're always we're, all of us are only on this earth for a short amount of time and i don't know it's some something like that is going on here okay but why is the temperance angel and judgment coming in for this now that's what i <laughs> So this might be somebody that ran away from this, Nine of Cups, okay? Ran away from um, having to deal with facing and coming to terms with um, this loss and this abandonment wound and this trauma, this unhealed wound inside of them. They ran away from this for a very long time. And they might have caused a lot of damage in the process by making other people responsible for their pain or for trying to hurt others. Like I said, with the, you know, with this example of, you know, the shoe, okay? It's like somebody didn't mean to come along and like, you know, do something to them but they, you know, maybe they have gone through a lot of different pairs of shoes and they, then you come along and step on their shoe and they just like freak the fuck out and wanted to ruin all of your shoes and destroy your shoes until yours, you can't wear them at all anymore. And it was like, you know, something was just super uncalled for in their reaction, okay? And I feel like that's why this judgment judgment the wheel of fortune and temperance angels coming in it's because like this person needs to heal they really need to heal and 
it's, it's like they're gonna they're getting sit, sat down now it's like you've been you know you've been you've been doing a lot of damage here because of your unhealed wounds and you need to stop blaming everybody else and you need to you know deal with the loss that's a part of life and I feel like this person is now gonna be forced to learn that lesson that they can't make other people responsible for the things that happen to them okay they're responsible for their own reactions and their own feelings and um yeah something like that is going on here okay it's just something was just uncalled for this the way that this person acted out of their shadow um because of their own wounding okay <coughs> I feel like it also has something to do with codependence, okay? It also, I'm just gonna cover up my red ear again, guys. <laughs> um, the fact that they, instead of, um, instead of healing the wound, looking at the abandonment issue, coming to terms with being alone, coming to terms with loss, they wanted to force people to stay in their life because it made them you know, feel more secure and safe. And that's not a healthy way to go about it either. You can't force people to stay. You can't force people to be with you because it makes you feel like you have a security blanket, right? You can't force relationships because um, you, you, can't, you can't chain people to you because you don't wanna be alone and you don't wanna deal with loss. It's just, it's not realistic. So when this person couldn't shackle someone to them and force someone to stay with them, they needed someone to blame. Instead of looking at the fact that that's not a healthy reaction in the first place. You shouldn't have to force someone to stay with you just because you don't want to deal with loss. That's a, that is a part of life that everyone has to deal with at one point or another. Everyone has to learn how to deal with loss. Now, unfortunately, this is somebody that when they lost someone in the past, they grew very bitter and very hateful, very vengeful, and very angry. Angry, very angry at the world. Okay? And that was not the way to go. And that is why, you know, they're going to have to face the consequences of their actions because their actions will have consequences you cannot just you know decide to ruin someone's life because you don't want to do the inner work and heal and deal with your loss that's not anybody else's responsibility you know it's a normal grieving process part of the grieving process to be angry and not understand why you're dealing with loss but you have to get to the stage of acceptance Okay, this person never got to that stage. They stayed in the denial. They stayed in the first stages of grief, which is like denial and anger. That is where they stayed. They never went through all of the grieving processes and made it to the final stage. They stayed in the first stages of denial and anger because it was easier for them to just not, just like to pretend the loss didn't happen. That's not healthy though. It's not healthy for them, you know? And it's, it's very unfortunate and sad because this person, the way they acted out, it was just, um, what they ended up doing is they ended up like ruining their own life, you know, instead of just healing. And, and going through it like everybody else does. They ended up ruining... It's like... Look, it's like pretend like we're a bunch of kids sitting at the table in school and everybody's drawing a picture, okay? Now, this person gets mad because their picture doesn't look like everybody else's picture and they get jealous at that someone is, you know, has a better picture than them. And then instead of just accepting it and maybe starting over and just drawing a new picture and, you know, dealing with that, 
dealing with the negative emotions, they like went on a rampage and started ripping up everybody else's picture and just wanting to ruin everybody else's pictures because they felt like theirs wasn't good enough. And so what ends up happening is they get kicked out of the club. You hear my Roomba again? I talked over it, but did you hear my Roomba? That's what, that's what happened. So they end up getting kicked out of the class, you know, and get all of the consequences for acting out that way. And all they ended up doing really was like ruining their own day, ruining their own school experience, if you get what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> tell me about the four customers. It's because of what some, some, a queen of pentacles was manifesting or they manifest, so they manifested something with a queen of pentacles and a queen of cups. So yeah, this is them wanting to, you know, this is them feeling like they're missing an opportunity and being all pouty and um, feeling upset and you know, being all mopey and, and, and this is them then thinking, well, you know, I can just, um, do what I want and rip every, up everybody else's paper if I want to. Right. So then they man, they decided to manifest something here with a queen of pentacles or a queen of cups, or this is who they went up against. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this is just your energy. Maybe you're just somebody that is very, grounded you're very nurturing you're very kind you're very loving you're very giving motherly um intuitive abundant you're someone that um is you know you're very business minded but at the same time you're just you have a very um balanced heart space okay you're very loving and Very like a, a, a humble, loving ruler, very grounded motherly energy, okay? So this is what could have also triggered them is that they were comparing themselves to you. Exactly, the pictures. They compared the pictures that they everybody was drawing together and they felt like, you know, Maybe your picture looked nicer than theirs and it made them go haywire in the brain. Like their brain had like a short circuit, okay? Yeah. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, look. All these people again here. Tell me more about the four of cups reverse. The four of coins. It made them want to hold on to what they felt like was theirs or what belonged to them. Or it made them very like territorial and like very codependent and like greedy. Okay. Very stingy. Like, no, this is mine. This is mine. Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords trapped in their head. What's the Nine of Swords reverse? They wanted revenge. This is revenge. This is them coming in really quick not thinking about what they're doing, not really giving a fuck what they're doing and coming in to hurt someone and get revenge. They wanted to, like with the world here, it's like they wanted to end something completely. They wanted something to completely end, a chapter to end forever. And I, I feel like it was, you know, with taking someone's life. They felt like it was going to make them feel better. This is like, like I said, with the shoes, like they wanted to destroy someone's shoes to the point of no return. Like you have to, I just got a 
confirmation on my phone. It's like they would not have rested until you were completely erased out of the picture forever and they could sleep at night knowing that you're gone from this earth. They didn't really think about what they were doing. They didn't think about it. All they did was they acted on these emotions, right? They came in very quick and they didn't think about the consequences. It was a trigger that you, you hit the trigger, okay? Like I said, it could have something to do with loss, abandonment. It could also have something to do with their self-esteem, okay? This could be someone that compares themselves to others. They could have low self-esteem. They could feel very insecure and they might have felt threatened by you. You threatened them, you made them feel very jealous. This could be somebody that acts out of rage and out of jealousy. That's another thing that they don't deal with, right? It's that, um, it's the jealousy, it's the comparison. When you are very insecure and have low self-esteem and you compare yourself to others, this is the kind of person that, you know, they wanna tear down other people. This is giving me, um, an example okay this happened to me um, a while ago where I was just talking to some someone I was talking to a girl and I could tell that this person was more on the insecure side okay but she was kind of looking for some advice she was going through something with a guy and you know th this guy was following a bunch of women on Instagram, okay? So instead of this this girl that I was talking to realizing that the problem is the dude who's following all of the, like he's talking to her and treating her like an option, following all of these other girls on Instagram, which for me, that would have been the problem or the red flag or the thing that shows me like, okay, he's keeping his options open. This girl was completely in denial over that fact and she was, looking at all of the girls and showing me the pictures of the girls and going like, but do you think she's pretty? Do you think she's pretty? I think she's ugly. Don't you think she's ugly? She's ugly, isn't she? Like, do you think she's really pretty? And I was like, look, it, they're not ugly, okay? We shouldn't be tearing down other women, okay? The other women are not the, the issue, okay? We're, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I think she's ugly or um, we're not gonna sit here and tear down the, the women or what they look like because that's not what it's about. First of all, don't you want a man that's with you because of your personality, okay? Like, if this man really likes your personality, loves your personality, it doesn't matter what these other women look like. They could look like supermodels. It shouldn't matter, right? But the other issue is that, the, the main issue is that he's following all these other girls, right? So we need to talk about his behavior, okay? We need to talk about what he's doing and not if these girls are pretty or not. So that's what this is reminding me of, right? Is that this is the kind of person that will compare themselves to another. And instead of dealing with the actual issue, which is that they are being left behind and they need to deal with the loss, they are the kind of person that will compare themselves to others and go, well, don't you think she's ugly? Don't you think that I'm way prettier than her? I mean, she's ugly, right? I mean, what does he even see in her? She's ugly, right? That's not even what it's about. It's not about someone's looks, man. I mean, it shouldn't be about that. And that amount of like competition and like, don't you think I'm prettier than her? Like, isn't she ugly? I mean, I, I don't, I'm not down with that. We shouldn't be tearing each other's down and we definitely shouldn't be attacking each other's looks, okay? I mean, if you're talking about dating someone or being with someone long-term, um, it shouldn't be about looks. Looks fade, okay? Um, well, that's just my opinion anyways. So, but that's what this person is giving me. It's like, they don't, they don't want to look at the actual issue at hand. They want to just find every other thing to like, you know, make themselves feel superior, make themselves feel better. And it's just about tearing someone else down and making so that they can feel better about the fact that they're comparing themselves, the fact that they feel insecure, the fact that, you know, they think that another man might find someone else prettier so they feel better when they can say, oh, they're ugly. It's like, you guys get what I'm saying? I just, I don't get it. I'm, you know, like I said, I even told the girl that I was talking to, I said, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do think that they're pretty. They are pretty girls, they're pretty. But the issue is not the girls. The issue is that the man is following them, right? So let's just stick to the, 
the behavior and not like finding excuse. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, just to make this young girl feel better about herself, um, sit there and tear other women down with her. It's just, it's not going to make her really feel better about the way that the guy's treating her. Right. So that's just how I see it. Anyways, long, long rant right there, but <sighs> what's this Knight of Pentacles? Again, with the four of coins. Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So, there was some sort of a plan here. This could have been a strategy in order to hold on to what they felt like. It's mine. It's mine, okay? Um... in order to get someone maybe to come back towards them, okay? Like, you know, if I'm just thinking about this, like I said, this girl that I talked to, her attacking these other women wasn't gonna make that dude have any more interest in her. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't gonna make the guy all of a sudden see her with different eyes. It doesn't change anything, okay? So either someone is interested or they're not. Either someone is only interested in you or you're an option. I mean, there's... That is exactly what this is giving me. It's like someone here felt like attacking someone else was gonna get them a desired result when they were just completely like ignoring the fact that someone was moving on and didn't wanna be with them anymore. It's like, that's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna make someone turn around and say, oh, you know what? I. Since you just completely destroyed the person that I'm going towards, now I want to be with you again. It's like... But when I was talking to that girl, you know, I realized pretty quick that she was very, very insecure. The problem was is that she didn't feel like she was good enough. She felt like she was lacking. She felt like she wasn't good enough for that man. So it made her feel better to say everybody else was shit and ugly, but that it was in her. And that's the same thing with this energy here. That is within this person is that they don't feel good enough. They feel like everybody leaves them. They feel alone. They feel discarded. They feel um, lonely. They feel insecure and jealous. That's something they have to work on. What's the eight of wands reverse? The Empress. The Five of Swords. Yeah, this is the jealousy. This is the, the short circuit of the brain, right? So they wanted to block someone else. Page of Pentacles in the Tower. They wanted to create some sort of destruction in someone's life. They wanted to destroy something. They wanted to block something, destroy something, uh, destroy the other person. Like you could be this empress, okay? So yeah, they see you as someone that is, you know, an empress energy. They feel threatened by that, okay? I don't know how to say it any other way. It could be because of a masculine, king of pentacles. They saw you as competition and all they could think of is like, I want to destroy you, okay? <laughs> like, it's not going to make the dude come back to you, but I don't, but that's, see, that's the thing, like, that's not even what it's about. I don't think this person even wants the man back. It's about the trauma that they haven't healed. They're angry about the fact that they have lo lost something, that they feel lost, that they feel abandoned, that they don't have family, that they don't have a partnership, that they're jealous, that they feel like someone is better than them. They feel je uh, they feel insecure, okay? They feel like they got left behind for someone else. It, those are the feelings that they're not dealing with. Even if the man came back, they wouldn't feel better. I cannot make it up, man. I'm telling you, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. That's the truth. And she knows it. Deep inside, she knows that she's just running away from pain. And she's trying to blame it on someone else because she thinks it's going to make her feel better, but it's not. Six of Swords. So what is this Ace of Wands here? 
the star. So the star had a great idea. They had an idea here. What was their idea, huh? Their idea was to cause a breakup. Their idea was, oh, you're gonna step on my shoe? I'm gonna destroy your shoes now. That was their idea. I just keep thinking about that girl that I talked to. It's like, if that dude had decided that he was he would rather be with another girl, you know, instead of just accepting the fact that, you know, maybe it just wasn't meant to be, maybe, you know, rejection is God's protection. Maybe this, it wasn't the man for her. Maybe, you know, something out there is better for her. Maybe she just needs to be patient and wait, you know? This, she would have, what, decided to, ruin someone's relationship and stalk the person and ruin their life out of anger. It's like, isn't that sad? Yeah, it is to me anyways. I just, you can't force people to, he to heal, right? It's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the horse drink. That's what this is giving me. It's like you can tell the person all of these things, but are they going to heal or are they going to just keep on their toxic ways? Like you just, so they had a great idea to ruin someone's relationship here. Yeah, this is what they decided to manifest and create. And this is, they were like, I have a great idea. Let's just ruin the relationship and stab someone in the back and block Block this. Block someone from walking away from me, right? By competing. By competing. So what's the nine of one reverse? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Impulsive. Acting out of anger. Acting out of rage. Acting out of wanting to destroy someone, okay? It's just keep, it keeps circling back. This person just wanted to destroy. It was just wrath, anger, jealousy. Because someone walked away. Because someone walked away from them. It's this queen of wands. That's what this is about today. It's a little sad because I feel like with this person, it's going to be like once the dust settles and everything clears and then they see the damage that they actually caused, that's when it's going to sink in. It's like when they get sent home from school and they get suspended and they're sitting in their room and they're realizing that everybody else is like outside having fun and painting pictures and the only reason why they can't be doing the same thing is because they did it to themselves. It was their own reaction that did it to them. It was their own reaction. It was their own anger that got them where they are. That is when they are going to feel bad. So that's when they might heal. But I feel like it's when they're going to, they're going to have, God is going to force them to sit in the wounds that they tried to run away from. And I hope that they heal. I really do. I hope that this person finds healing. I do. Because it's a sad way to live, man. It's a sad way to live your life, your whole life, with so much anger in your heart. It's just, it's, it's poisoning them. It's not poisoning the other person. They're not going to get that result that they're looking for of hurting someone else. They're only hurting themselves. They're poisoning their own life. And it's a sad way to live. So I hope that this person can heal. Deal with this. Ace of coins. 
Why are you showing me that? The moon. Why are you showing me this? The Hierophant. So it has something to do with them receiving money here in secret. It could have something to do with a marriage, okay? This might have a lot to do with their idea of family, marriage. If I'm being honest, like the marriage or the family they were in, it, I don't feel like it was happy. It was something that they forced into like, they even forced themselves into this picture because they felt like this, they're like filling a wound, man. It's like, they're just, it's like a bathtub. I'm seeing a bathtub, okay? The bathtub, the water is murky as hell. It's like dirty water. You know, this person doesn't even really want to sit in the bathtub, but they've got the plug in the bathtub and they just are fighting so hard against this plug being unplugged and the water going out because all they can think about is like what if the water is gone and then the water is gone and then I don't have any more water and then the em the bathtub's empty and then it's like they're not even thinking about the fact that the water is fucking dirty and nasty and they're not even thinking about the fact that they could you know maybe when they've healed and let go of the dirty water they can put the plug back in and put in some fresh new water like they're not thinking about that. All they're thinking about is loss because that is their trauma point. That is their trigger point. That is what is like, oh, 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 loss, loss. I can't deal with the loss. I can't deal with the loss. And it's like, but an ending is a new beginning. Like something new can come afterwards. Like it can always get better, but they're not thinking that far. Like exactly, look, this is them. Like, no, the dirty bath water. It's like, like, you can fill up the bathtub with fresh water. Your life isn't over just because the bath, like, we got to deal with the dirty, like, we got to deal with it. You cannot hold on to the dirty bath water forever just because you feel safer holding on to it than letting it go and not knowing if you're going to get fresh water. Like, that's where trust comes in. And you have to trust that one day the bathtub will fill up again with fresh water and it'll be way, way better. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Tell me more about this, um, this money with the this moon and this is, yeah, this is something they were trying to steal. They were being deceptive. That's another thing this person is gonna have to learn. They can't get what they want by being deceptive, okay? with a king of cups. So they did something really deceptive and sneaky with a king of cups. And a queen of pentacles, yo. You guys saw how that came out, right? That's crazy. So this person then decided to link up with other people because they felt like that was the answer to their problems. Then they would be able to solve their issues and get away with something here. I can't even make it up, yo. <laughs> yeah. What do you want me to say? These three linked up together to do something really deceptive, really backstabbing, uh, very mean here. They definitely took action towards this in secret. This is what they planned. They moved ahead on this. This person made the choice to do this because of this wound, because of loss of family. Yeah. But what is this Ace of Coins, this money investment here? It was something that they created here 
for a new beginning or to close out a cycle or this is how they thought they were going to manifest something strength and the emperor strength in numbers and it had something to do with money so they felt like they had strength in numbers because of something to do with money now what's this moon here What was hidden is the fact that they wanted to cause complete, utter destruction to an empress. Because they see you as an empress. See, the empress embodies all of the queens. The empress is the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands, the queen of swords, and the queen of cups all together. Because you have mastered all of the elements. Um, that's why Mother Gaia comes out on the card is because of the elements, right? You are connected to the earth and you are very abundant. You can make something out of anything. Um, you have balanced mind, balanced heart, balanced emotions, um, balanced sacral chakra, very creative and very grounded, very abundant, right? And this is what they did in secret. They wanted to cause complete destruction to you because they wanted to knock you down. They saw you as their competition. That's exactly, it's like, it keeps giving me that girl that was like, don't you think that they're ugly? The girls that they were showing me were beautiful. I even told her, I said, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> but that's not the issue, right? But that's this energy. It's like they see you and they know that you're beautiful. That's the thing. It's like that girl knew that those girls were beautiful. They knew that they were a competition. They knew that, you know, that's what made them feel insecure is that they were so worried that those girls were prettier than them or better than them. So they're like, don't you think they're ugly? It's like, do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's that energy. And that's not what it should be about. I mean, it's never about like, it shouldn't be about looks or comparing yourself. Either you're someone's cup of tea or you're, you're not. No amount of comparison is gonna change the way someone feels about you. It doesn't, it's not gonna work, okay? Just because you go next to a, you stand next to someone else and go, don't you think I'm better than her? It's not gonna make anybody or him, like even if you're a man, okay? Vice versa, it doesn't matter. It's like. Just because you're standing next to someone going, don't you think I'm better? Don't you think I'm better? I'm better, I'm better, aren't I? It's not gonna make the person standing across from you think any different. Either they like person A or person B. It's like, it's just in the heart. It's not in the eyes or the looks or the something on the outside. It's in the heart. It's like, what does the heart feel? You can't change someone's heart. You cannot force something. So that's why they wanted to create utter destruction and it's, I feel like it's because not only was this person threatened by someone's looks or the way that you appear or the you know the energy that you carry you carry empress energy which is very dominant okay it's the kind of person that walks into a room and everybody knows you just walked into the room you have confidence you have um you know it's not about like beauty on the outside it's about that aura okay it's like it's a presence right um, this person could have also been threatened by someone's feelings for you okay so they didn't want someone to feel anything for you they didn't want someone to love you or care about you or think that you have a presence or that you're special you know it's like the sad thing is is like the entire time that someone was doing this to you they could have spent that whole time you know working on their own self-esteem and, you know, stop comparing yourself to others. Turn off the Instagram, okay? Stop looking at all the other people and going, oh, they're prettier than me. It's like, it's so pointless, okay? This is the kind of person that really needs to find themselves and find, 
you know, their own beauty and there's, there's something very, they feel very insecure about themselves, very low self-esteem and it's sad. They, that's what they need to work on so that, you know, they feel like they're good enough. And if it's not for this person that they're gunning after, then it's for the person that's going to see them and see something special in them. But if they don't heal enough to that point, then nobody's going to see anything in them besides their hurt wounds and their attitude and their like destructive reactions. Like nobody's going to want to stick around with somebody that's acting like